Okay, starting turn number six with Arjun. Things seem like they turned around a little bit for us recently, but then turned back around yet again. So things just aren't going well. And we started out the game with the Wraith, a couple of traps. Then we drew another Wraith. And then, you know, our uh, Cavan turned, and now he's turned again. So things are not good. Alyssa's is down to one hit point, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep pressing on, see what happens. So Arjun's on this tile with this uh, rats. So what does this thing do again? Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes on his or her tile. All right, well, there's one hero on this tile, so we, we get to add one to our roll. I guess what we'll do, we'll use uh, Trapping Strike to pull the rats to us. So... The rats get pulled over. We'll just put him here because that is adjacent. And we'll attack with Trapping Strike. And we get plus 8, plus 1. So we get a plus 9 on that attack. Actually, let me check this. Do I... Does everybody... Is that only... Okay, I thought... I just wanted to make sure. Equal to the... Okay, so it, I just wanted to make sure that it didn't only apply to her tile. So it applies to all heroes. So here we go. So we got a 10 uh, plus 8 is 18, so that's enough. We don't even need the other plus 1 from the thing. So And that's usually the way that works. Those types of blessings very, very rarely actually bless. Uh, so that's good news. We got rid of the rats. Um, wait, why did I get rid of the spider card? That's, that's wrong. We got rid of the rats. So that's good because that means that uh, Cavan will turn, or the young vampire will turn back to Cavan, but we'll get there. All right, so we didn't use a surge. We attacked, we killed, so we get a treasure. So let's deal with that first. And Amulet of Protection, you gain a plus one bonus to AC while this item is in play. Okay, I can give this to Alyssa. Should I do that, or should I take it for myself? Let me do 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 do. Mm. I'm thinking. I guess hmm. I'll go ahead and take it, even though Alyssa has a lower AC. You know what? Let me go ahead and give it to Alyssa. So now her AC is 16 all the time, and if Arjun's on the tile with her then it'll be 17, but at least for now it's 16 all the time. I just have a feeling it's not going to help her, but we'll, we'll do that. All right, so we got the treasure. Um, so we're still in our hero phase, so we can still move. Arjun can move five. So let's have him move one. The thing is, now, Kevin... Now, here's a question... Normally, I would if, if Cavan is adjacent to me and I move up here, I can move him adjacent to me, but technically he's not Cavan right now. So how does that one work? When a hero is adjacent to the Cavan token, and that's not the case, we're not adjacent to the Cavan token right now, so I feel like that means I have to burn a turn here just to get him to turn back. When a hero is adjacent to the... Man, does that suck. Because what I was going to do is move over here and then have him move up next to me, but since it's not the cabin token, he's not going to follow me. And I don't want to just burn a turn um, just to have him turn uh, back into... Thing. I, guess, I guess I can come over here and explore, but I was really wanting to go that way so that we can meet up with Alyssa, but whatever. We'll go over here and explore. So that's the end of my hero phase. Um, so now we're exploring. And we get this tile here. I'm going to draw a monster. Get a zombie. It's my favorite monster to draw because they're the weakest. They have a low attack. They have a low AC. If there were a few
few more monsters like the zombie, the game wouldn't be so impossible. Well, there's a lot of things I would probably change. <laughs> at least a few. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily change all the things I would change, but at least some of the things. Like, number one, a miss is a miss. That's it. A miss is a miss. That's the number one thing I would change. None of this... If it misses it, it really hits you crap. All right, so we explored, we got a black tile, we got a zombie, we got a black tile, so we will get an encounter. Um, we'll deal with Cavan in a second. Let's update our sheets. We still have sliding walls, rats are gone, but now we have a zombie. All right, so before we draw the encounter, we look at our situation with a young vampire. And at the start of any villain phase, if there's no... So basically, we, we turn him back. So... Turns back to Kevin. Alright, now we draw the encounter. Overwhelming Terror. If the start tile so we don't to, is not in play, then it is in play. Place each hero two tiles closer to the start tile. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I've got some experience at this point, so we're going to cancel that. So we'll use this stack here so I can pull that uh so I can pull that experience card out or that treasure card out. So that's a rat, so that's gonna go in the monsters. So that's one. Uh that takes us up to four. And then our fifth experience. So we'll take the cobalt skirmisher, put it there, and we'll take four experience from monsters and start a monster discard. And then we'll take the fifth experience and put it into the treasure pile. All right, so that cancels that encounter. So now, uh, so let's mark off young cabin, or young vampire. So sliding walls, again, nothing. Then the zombie activates. So if the zombie is within one tile, it is, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with the routing fist. So bone pile to bone pile. And Rotting Fist, and that's a plus five, so it's a good chance it'll miss. Uh, eight plus five is 13, so that it will indeed miss. And the zombie doesn't do anything on a miss. Okay, so that will be the end of Arjun's villain phase. So we start with Alyssa, and she slowed. So she's going to ping the spider, that's what she'll do. Careful attack. Spider is adjacent to her, so she pings it, it's gone. And uh, so we'll take the spider off the board. Put it up here at the other spider. And she will get treasure for that, but let's get, let's update. So she didn't need a surge. Um, she did attack. She did attack and killed. There we go. So we do get treasure. Let's get some hit points. Thieves tools play immediately. You gain plus four bonus to rolls to disable traps useless in my opinion. I mean, it would have been useful earlier, obviously, but yeah, we'll give it, we'll let her have it. It's never going to get used in this game. Um, so she slowed. So she'll move to 1-2, which is the full movement of her slowness. And then at the end of her hero phase, the surround them blessing wears off and the slowness wears off. So we get rid of the slowness, and we get rid of this blessing, and now she'll use her scout to explore up here. So yeah, let's go ahead and have her explore. Oh boy, it's going to turn again. Oh man, another wall. So, yeah, like I said, I'm really trying to get her to go around this way, but... Uh, monster for Alyssa. Cobalt Skirmisher. Place the Cobalt Skirmisher on the bone pile of the newly drawn tile. And let's update. 
So she did explore. And we got a black tile. She's got a cobalt skirmisher. We will get an encounter. Spider's gone. Cobalt skirmisher. Okay, before we draw the encounter, we have to check uh, Cavan at the start of any villain phase. So it's not just our villain phase, but it's any villain phase. So Cavan's going to convert. All right, let me put that there. Let me bring the tile over. So the young vampire is back once again. So young vampire. And the young vampire activates first. If he's adjacent, he's not. If the young vampire is within one tile of two or more heroes, and he is not within one tile of two or more heroes, so we skip that. If the young vampire is on the start tile, and he's not, otherwise the young vampire moves one tile in the direction of the arrow. So basically, he's going to come back here, and that's going to be the movement of the young vampire. And that's a pain in the neck, because you have to, you know, especially as you get further away, you have to chase him down all the time. In the one other time I played this game, I noticed that. Okay, so the young vampire went now. The cobalt skirmisher is going to stand where it's at throw a javelin at Alyssa with the plus nine on that attack. So it's probably going to hit 13, yeah, most definitely. It's, yeah, don't even have to check really. So that's going to do one damage to Alyssa, which is going to kill her. So she goes down, boom. Alyssa's down. All right, so that is going to be the end of turn number six.